At Data Robot, we talk with many customers and prospects concerned that bias could creep into their AI models. Predictive models showing bias can expose an organization to compliance and litigation risks and generally reflect poorly on its ethics and culture. In the news, we've all heard stories of hospital care models favoring white over black patients. We've heard about social media algorithms prioritizing ads for jobs in nursing and secretarial work towards women, and ads for janitors and taxi drivers to men from minority backgrounds. There are examples of respected financial institutions unknowingly using models that unfairly deny loans to certain ethnic groups, and facial recognition systems that perform poorly on people of color. But AI models do not create their own bias. They simply learn it from human behavior and poor quality data, and just mimic and amplify these patterns. In the latest release of Data Robot AutoML, automatic bias and fairness testing will identify bias in your AI models and help you determine its source so you can resolve issues upstream and prevent bias from reoccurring. In the following demo, we will look at an HR hiring use case for Megacorp. Megacorp is a hypothetical company manufacturing high-tech products. Whenever they advertise new job vacancies, their HR team is overwhelmed with applicants. To help them, they've built an AI model to automate the process of filtering through all the applications they receive to identify a shortlist of candidates who best match the job advertised. For model training, Megacorp uses historical data from their HCM system for approximately 24,000 job applications. The data shows whether the applicant was hired or not and contains additional variables like age, gender, distance from home, education level, resume text, and so on. To get started, let's create a new project. DataRobot is now reading in the dataset and doing some initial EDA so we get a deeper understanding of the features prior to model training. If we scroll down the page, we see summary statistics and can visualize the distribution of values for each feature. The target for this model is hired. When I select it, I see that DataRobot has automatically detected this is a binary classification problem and is recommending log loss as the most appropriate optimization metric. Let's assume that Megacorp needs to show its hiring practices to not unfairly discriminate against applicants aged over 40 or women, since these are considered protected groups. Under Advanced Options, I can see the new Bias and Fairness option. Step one is to tell DataRobot which features contain our protected groups. In this case, it's age bracket and gender. DataRobot will measure bias against these features. Next, we declare a favorable target outcome. Here, it's yes. We want applicants that were hired. We now have to select the appropriate fairness metric. There are lots of ways to think about what's fair in a given situation, so the metric will actually vary between use cases. The metric I want for this hiring example may be different than, say, a use case predicting insurance premiums. From the drop-down list, we have five different fairness metrics to choose from. And since I am no expert, I'll click Help Me Choose to get an interactive pop-up that guides me to the recommended fairness metric based on my answers to some basic questions. First question, do you want to measure model fairness by equal errors or equal representation? In this case, I pick equal representation. This means my model may prioritize equal representation across the protected classes in my data, in this case, age bracket and gender, above optimizing for accuracy alone. Second question, do you want to be fair based on the model's raw prediction scores or the model's binary decisions? For my use case, I'll choose binary decisions. I want to let the model filter out the candidates that are very unlikely to be hired so I can reduce the workload on my recruiting team. If I wanted to rank all my applicants top to bottom based on their prediction scores, 
and then manually choose who to interview, I would pick raw scores. Last question. Do you want to ensure the favorable outcome for an equal number or equal relative percentage of rows for each protected class? Here, I care about equal percentage because I want the likelihood of being selected to be approximately the same between the different classes. If I had a directive to hire exactly the same number of women as men, I would pick equal number. After answering all three questions, the recommended fairness metric is highlighted, which for my use case is proportional parity. Note that in working through these questions, we've arrived at proportional parity, and this is the same definition of fairness that is typically used by the US government to measure bias in hiring. In many cases, you can find industry guidelines to help you answer these questions if you're not sure. You can also read more about the chosen fairness metric in the Data Robot product documentation and see more examples. Click Select to exit the guide. It's optional, but here I can suggest a fairness threshold, such as 0.8. This basically is a benchmark that I choose to rate my bias and fairness score against. We'll see this later on. OK, that's it for bias and fairness configuration. We'll then kick off autopilot as normal. The model building process is unchanged. Once autopilot is complete, it's time to understand if our models exhibit bias. Let's inspect this model near the top of the leaderboard. Selecting the Bias and Fairness tab kicks off a job to calculate either the per-class bias insight or the cross-class data disparity insight. Once the job is done, we can inspect the results. For any of our protected features, age bracket here, we see the respective fairness score and the number of values per class. It looks like proportionally we are under hiring applicants aged 40 and over, and we are also below our chosen benchmark of 80% proportional parity. Toggling over to gender, I can see that we are in really good shape. So let's explore our age classes and try and figure out what's causing the bias. My intuition is that I want to inspect the data disparity between the over and under 40s classes. I'll click on the cross-class data disparity insight, select age bracket, then the 40 and over and under 40 classes for comparison. The chart on the left highlights the data disparity on the y-axis versus the feature importance on the x-axis. We instantly see that the number of internships exhibits a high amount of data disparity and is also the third most important feature for the model in terms of predictive signal. Clicking on the feature, I see via the chart on the right exactly where the data disparity occurs. It looks like our over 40s class mostly had zero or only one internship on their resume versus the under 40s applicants who had considerably more, typically between one and four internships according to the data. This disparity makes sense because internships are typically something applicants earlier in their careers are more likely to highlight on their resume versus the over 40s group whose resumes are more work experience based. When we inspect the feature effects for internships, we can clearly see that applicants with zero internships are extremely unlikely to be hired. This is causing unanticipated bias towards the under 40s age group. To address this bias, Megacorp can choose to focus less on the importance of internships for applicants over 40 or change the data upstream and apply an appropriate weighting factor. Finally, since we can run bias and fairness tests on multiple leaderboard models, we can look at the bias versus accuracy page to compare them. 
Here we see a chart plotting the fairness score for the most disparate class on the x-axis and model validation scores such as log loss on the y-axis. This allows you to compare and make trade-offs between model bias and accuracy. The level of sophisticated bias and fairness testing you have just seen is a capability unique to DataRobot. Our enterprise AI platform helps you accelerate and democratize data science by automating the end-to-end -end journey from data's value, allowing you to deploy trusted and bias-free AI applications at scale across your entire organization. So why not take our trial or request a personal demo today? Thanks for watching.